Hello, today I'm going to show you how to apply photos to the Perspective Grid planes using the Perspective Grid tool. First open a new document and select the Perspective Grid tool or press the Shift and P keys on your keyboard. Now we will modify our grid. If you are new to the Perspective Grid tool, I would recommend that you watch my previous tutorials. You will find them at the end of this video and in the description below. Let's move the vertical extent down, decrease the number of cells on the grid and turn the visibility of the horizontal plane to solid. Next, we will need several images. Go to File, Place, find your image and click Place. Now click, hold and drag to place the image. Go to File again, Place and let's select two more photos. If all your photos are in the same folder, you can select all of them at once and click Place. In the next several steps, we will draw this cube. First, let's change the fill to a different color and get rid of the stroke. Next, switch to the Perspective Selection tool and make sure that the left blue plane is selected. Now select the Rectangle tool, click on this intersection and draw a rectangle that is 3 squares tall and 5 squares wide. Now align the corners. Let's duplicate this rectangle to the right plane. Switch to the Perspective Selection tool. Click on the rectangle, hold. Now press the number 3 on your keyboard to switch to the right orange plane and holding down the Alt key, copy the rectangle. Let's change its color and copy it to the top horizontal plane. Now zoom in and make sure that all the corners are aligned. And do the same with the other corners. Notice that you can easily move this rectangle along the perspective grid plane. However, replacing it with the image will disable this function. In order to place an image onto the perspective grid plane, your image has to be embedded. First, make sure your image is selected and then click on the Embed button from the top toolbar. Next, switch to the Regular Selection tool. Now click on the image, hold and place it over the yellow rectangle. Make sure that the layer with the yellow rectangle is on top of the layer with the photo. You can check this in the Layers panel by opening the sublayers. In my case, it is already placed correctly. If your photo appears to be on top, either go to the Layers panel, click on the selected photo and drag it under the layer with the yellow rectangle or right-click on the photo, choose Arrange and Send to Back. Now select both the photo and the yellow rectangle. Then go to Object, Envelope Distort and choose Make with Tab Object. Now your image is permanently placed in perspective. The downside of it is that you can't move it like you were able to do with the yellow rectangle. Next, we will place the second image onto the right plane. First select it and then switch to the regular selection tool. Before we proceed to the next step, I want to show you what will happen if you place your photo without embedding it first. This warning window will pop up telling you that the selection contains objects which cannot be distorted. So make sure to embed the image first and then follow the same steps like we did before. Move the image and position it over the next rectangle. 
select the image and the green rectangle. Make sure the green rectangle is on top. And like before, go to Object, Envelope Distort and Make with Tab Object. If you don't like the way your photo looks, you will have to go back and either replace your photo or do some cropping, for example. Let me undo the changes. And finally, select the last photo. Make sure it is embedded. Place it over the last rectangle. Make sure the blue rectangle is on top. Select both. Go to Object, Envelope Distort and Make with Tab Object. And finally, turn off the grid. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.